One of Jesus' disciples, Peter, had promised to stay with him, promised to never leave him, never abandon him, even had promised to go to the death with him. When he made that promise, Jesus said, Peter, before the rooster crows, before daylight, you will deny me not once, not twice, but three times. In this moment, Peter has now followed Jesus uh, as he's been arrested. He is kind of standing within probably eyesight of Jesus and Jesus is being tried. Peter is warming himself around a fire and somebody comes up and says, aren't, aren't you one of his, his guys? Aren't you one of his disciples? Peter says, no, I, I, I don't know him. Yeah, I think I saw you with him, weren't you? Weren't you with him? No, I don't, I don't know him. Again, I, I'm, I'm sure that I remember seeing you. I'm telling you, I don't know that man. About that time, the rooster crows and day breaks. <laughs> Peter realizes how terrible of a situation that is. He has promised that he would defend Jesus, and instead, he's denied him. Not once, not twice, but three times. You know, in our lives, we can say that we're followers of Jesus, but sometimes when it really comes down to it, we will push back. I wanna live my life my way. I wanna do things my way. I, I really don't wanna be bothered by following Jesus. What is that? It's a denial of him. Can I give you the rest of the story? After Jesus is resurrected, he gathers with his disciples on a beach and he spends some time with Peter. He calls him aside and he says to Peter, Peter, do you love me? He says, you know I love you, then feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? You know I love you. Uh, well, then feed my lambs. Peter, do you love me? Again, kind of asking Peter, do you really love me? Not once, not twice, but three times. Peter says, absolutely, you know I love you. You know all things. He says, then feed my sheep. Do the work that I've called you to do. In that moment, Jesus took those three denials and he replaced them with three commissionings, three commandments. In our lives, when we push away from Jesus, he doesn't push away from us. Instead, he comes to us. He's the lover of our souls. He's the forgiver of our sins. He's the restorer of our life with him. We can walk with him regardless of when we push away, he's always there waiting for us to walk hand in hand with him again.